What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike. Powder Blues. Rich, man. <laughs> what's going, y'all? Hey, what's going, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Look, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's having such a wonderful day. It's a beautiful Saturday. Everybody who wants your J's, I hope y'all able to go out there and get them. I kind of almost struck out. I went to the Foot Locker. I went to Champs. I went to like every shoe store in the mall. They ain't have them. I had to go to Hibbert Sports, the cop. But anyway, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the three-peat action. The year was 1991. Michael Jordan had been in the league for multiple years, and he was held as the best basketball player in the NBA. But in order to get over that hump, he had to get past Magic Johnson, man. He had to get past Magic Johnson. People were saying he might be the best player in the league. He might be the next Dr. J. He might be the next uh, Magic Johnson. But he got to get past Magic Johnson to become Magic Johnson. He got to get a ring. All everything that they got is a, everything they got that he don't got is a ring. So MJ had to get a ring, and he did it. Boy, did he do it against the Lakers, against Magic Johnson, 1991. He took the Lakers out first. He said, you know what? I ain't satisfied. I want another championship. So who he took out next? He took out the Portland Trail Blazers in 1992. Rocking where my shoes at? Where they at? Where he was rocking? He was rocking the Shrug Game 7 action. Shrug Games. Not Raptors. Shrug Game. Sorry, Toronto. Sorry, Drake fans. But anyway, let's get them back. Then, next up, he said, you know what? I got the, I'm the king of the hill. I don't want two championships straight. You know what? I think it's high time for a three-peat. Three of them things. And the third year, 1993, he went up against his good friend, who has been well documented. He was real cool with Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley said in, in, in one of the post uh, pregame interviews, God want us to win the championship. Well, Charles Barkley, you was wrong because God didn't want you to win the championship. He wanted MJ to get a third championship. So, the reason I'm saying all this, if y'all don't know by now, and I already said it at the beginning of the video, I think, did I? It don't matter. Three peat eights. Which I don't know why they put this on the eight. They put it on the eight because 19, they, this came out in 1993, right? Yeah, because the sevens was 92 when they paid Portland. Yeah, that's why they put it on the eight because it was the end of a three peat. I'm off the top of the dome, man. No research action. I don't need no research. Hibbit sports action, though, you know. Uh... So, you got your joint box. Y'all need to bring the old school joint box. It came with a retro card. Y'all need to bring the old school retro box back to action as well. Nike, Jordan brand. If you hear me, bring back that retro box. All the original boxes these sneakers came in, even though this ain't an OG colorway. At least do it for the OG colorway. At least do it for the OG colorway. The official name on these, man, is Air Jordan 8, Air Jordan 8 Retro. And I'm going to go ahead and add another piece to the official name, 3 Pete. Uh, the official colorway is white, infrared, 23, black, bright, I don't know what that last color is, but bright something, C-N-C-R. Whatever color that is, it's going to get into them. Oh, they retail for you, I already know, $190. Now, I must say, I'm going to go ahead and say this before I do the review. I got this shoe mainly to do the review for y'all. I know it's so much heat coming out, and I said, unless something telling me, when I get this shoe, unless something telling me, keep them rich, keep them, they are, you need them for a part of your collection. Unless something tell me that, they going back. So I'm gonna do my own feet indoors, in the house. Um, I was gonna keep them, man, but you know what? I just started looking at the release calendar and realizing, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff coming out that I want. So, Let's go with the, uh, I do it the left shoe or the right shoe. I don't even remember, I ain't did a review in here so long. And, nope, that ain't it. That don't even feel right. And, bow! Bow! Now, I must also say this before I continue, continue to review. Let's go and get around and look at those first. I am not the biggest Air Jordan 8 fan. And to be perfectly honest with y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm an honest person, man. I'm honest with my subscribers. This is my first Air Jordan Retro 8. So it really ain't, if I take it back, it really won't be my first <laughs> Air Jordan 8. But I want them Aquas, man. I want them Aquas because I love the new buck on the Aquas, man. Just the new buck and that, that colorway is so classic on the Aquas. But you know what? After I seen these on feet today, 
I've seen him on I have seen him on feet. It was a dude rocking them when I was pulling up to the mall to get them. And I'm like, bruh, the shoe ain't even out good yet. Why you wearing them? Why you got them on already? But you know what? To each his own, man. If y'all want to wear your shoes on release day, hey, to each his own. But um, very dope shoe in my opinion. You got your um this leather on here, eh, basic leather, basic sneaker leather. Um you got your perforation action going on. Like I say, it's my first eight, man. It's crazy. Uh, midsole got that. They didn't even say purple on the box, did it? White, infrared, black. I guess that C Concord. C N C R. Put the whole word on there, man. I ain't trying. <laughs> Concord, man. I'm tripping. I should have known that. Concord. And look at it. Like you can see. I'm tripping anyway. Concord, man. You got your Concord purple. You got your you got some um some glittery action going on in the midsole right here, man. Some glittery action. They they didn't say a colorway for the glittery, but it's you got your uh this is that's orange. They ain't put that on there either. But it's infrared going across this little thing. I think it's one of the main things I, I never really liked about the eights. Um but it don't bother me as much now that I'm that I'm I'm older. I like I actually like that part. You got your new buck. Which actually new buck is some pretty decent material going all the way across the back Black new buck and you got um, this is leather this leather This leather on these uh, perforations right here this little circle on both sides That leather actually is a whole lot softer than the white leather. That's weird. Why well, y'all ain't use this leather on the whole shoe, man? Dang got your Air Jordan right down the strap and I think this is another reason I ain't like it I like shoes with straps, but this double cross strap like the, the um Air Raids had these at the time when these shoes came out. A lot of shoes Nike was bringing out had similar themes. You got your 23 in, in the infrared. The patch is not on this. This usually get that little patch, little carpet filling patch right here on the tongue. You got, but you got the jump man in infrared. And you got that yellow kind of like graffiti looking uh, basketball goal with the net and the ball right here. That's dope. I like that. These are dope shoes. I actually want to keep them. But... As you can see from the, the colorway it comes from, you got your Lakers, or this could be this could be Lakers, and this could be um 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 the Phoenix Suns right here, and that's of course that's what that yellow comes from a Laker colorway. The oranges and all that that kind of come from the Phoenix Suns. You can see Phoenix Suns, you see Lakers, and um I think this red and black. You got your red and black action going on with some of this, even though that the red is not really the Trailblazers red, but you know this signifies three peaks. So Trailblazers. Um, Phoenix Suns and um, Lakers, of course, first three teams they beat. Sorry for the fans, all the people who are fans were fans of those teams when they uh, were getting uh, blasted. My, Michael Jordan, Mike, like when Michael Jordan was in the league, man, he just you, he wasn't gonna let nobody win win no championship. It's a lot of great players in the league like Charles Barkley that didn't win championships because of MJ. MJ was just like, nah, nah, this ain't your year. This ain't your year. I bet they were like, man, I wish you would have stayed retired for a couple more years because when he retired, he after the three peat. Um, uh, uh, Kim Elijah won and was able to get him two championships. So, anyway, that's these, man. My review is all over the place today. My first eight. I'm kind of enjoying looking at these right now, man. I bet they look dope on feet. I already know they look dope on feet because I seen old boy rocking them super early. But anyway, I ain't finna keep on talking, man. I don't talk enough. This is the shoe. This is the shoe. The leather is better up here than it is down here, in my opinion. But they cleanse, in my opinion, as well. I love the bottoms. They remind me of the seven bottoms a little bit. I ain't gonna keep on. I ain't gonna keep on going crazy with it. But anyway, I know y'all want to see these on feet. They're gonna be having some in, on carpet in the house action on feet this time. But let me let y'all go ahead and check these out. <sighs> on feet, man. I like to apologize to whoever gonna buy these shoes out. I take them back to Hippie Sports. I'm gonna put some new socks on with them so they don't get funky. Yes, sir. Uh. I'm sorry. I forgot to show y'all the card. Oh. Oh. There you go. Forgot to show y'all the retro card, man. Retro card action. Very cleansed. They used to put these, when all the retro, first run of retros came out, they used to put these cards in every box, which is just a little dope memorabilia thing. Got the aerospace Jordan right there. He got the aqua zone on a picture. They would tease you like that, don't one day before the shoe come out. They give you that little tease. And Air Jordan 8, Roman numerals. MJ looking slightly awkward, dunking the ball. Look at his face. 
What are you thinking about right now? He like he looking down. What's wrong with him? Look at that hand. That don't look natural, MJ. That don't look natural. Anyway, in the back of the car, it got the eight with all the numbered shoes on the back and some of the dopest OG colorways imaginable. It goes all the way to 22. So, it's a retro car. Forgot about that, y'all. Sorry. But I added in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, clean. I want to keep them now. Damn, I want to keep them. They dope on feet. <laughs> I want to keep them. They dope, man. I don't know if I'm going to take them back now, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to take them back now. I might keep these. But this is the on feet of the Air Jordan. Y'all, excuse my little weight bench. I need to be on it right now. But on feet of the Air Jordan 8. Three-peat action. He won three championships for us to get this shoe. Let's rock them well. Got some uh, Concord socks. I actually bought these when I bought my Concord low. Dope in my opinion. What y'all think? Comment below and tell me what y'all think. The fit on these. The size. First walkway action. Let me make sure I'm right on the side. These headphones going on the floor. J Kicks. I'm beat them. Yeah, man. My little makeshift weight room action going on. Dope. But the fit on these is true to size. Let's see if I can get a little, a little more light in here. Anyway, the fit on these is true to size. I suggest going true to size. They're comfortable. They don't have a lot of breathability, even though they got the perforations on the side. These shoes feel like they will be so hot on your feet. So it's a good fall time shoe. Almost like an insulated boot or something. Like they, they like, or whatever, but they ain't gonna wrinkle them up too much. I don't know. I still, I'm still undecided. I might keep them. I really like the way they look on feet. But um, anyway, that's the on feet action. Yeah, man. Ah. That is the on feet. I ain't give y'all no round view because I don't want y'all to see that part of the room. But anyway, it's been your boy Mike Rich, man. I hope y'all enjoyed my review on these. These Jordan 8 3 peat action. I hope y'all enjoyed my review on this. Um, if y'all didn't catch my vlog, y'all go back and look at my vlog. I did a vlog and I picked up some um all red, triple red. Uh, Harachi action. So y'all check out that vlog. I was I was kind of lit on that vlog. A lot of people say, man, never seen you with this much energy. I was in a good mood that day. Y'all check that vlog out. But anyway, hit me that thumb. What I want y'all to do, <laughs> I want y'all to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, comment, share, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and hit that thumbs up if you like this video, if you like these shoes, if you just like the review. You ain't got to like the shoes. If you like my review style, Hit the, hit the thumbs up, man, and keep watching my videos, because that's what I'm here for. Gone.